Hey guys, and welcome back. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is basically these two, uh, for the sake of this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to do the green screen. Uh, so basically everybody else... I could move down right here. Yeah. So I think I'm going to do that because you want your green screen, you want to have all on its own channel. So I'm going to go here and highlight and drop these into my normal video. So that essentially just leaves these two bits that I'm going to chrome, I'm going to chroma key uh, to show you guys how to do it. Now, as you can see here, there's a little bit of shadow going. Uh, I, you know, I can use the keys going back and forth and you can see there's, there's some shadow going on back there. Uh, but by the time I'm done, you probably will not notice that shadow, and the chroma key certainly won't. So, my basic effects. Now, these are effects I basically do on every channel, minus the chroma keying. Uh, this is just my standard. So, here you go. Saturation adjust. I put that one first. Uh, then I go to brightness and contrast. Then I use my color corrector, which I sometimes use, sometimes I don't. But I go ahead and add it in just in case I do. And of course, on this one, we need Sony Chroma Keyer. So let's add that one. So that's the four, well, well those three are the standard I'll use on every video I ever do. Uh, and the uh, Chroma Keyer, of course, when I'm doing Chroma Key. Now, Sony Saturation Adjust, uh, I've never looked at the presets. Boost mid tone, let's see what that looks like. It looks kind of nice. Didn't get rid of my shadow, but that's okay. Uh, reduce. Just get in and play. I'm going to go back to default because I want to show you guys what I do. Saturation adjust. I usually move the amount up a bit. Uh, bring the center down and bring my spread up. Uh, and basically, I'm just visually trying to get an idea of what I like. Now, I like a bright, a fairly bright green. See, that's pretty good. See, I'm kind of washing the shadow out behind. It also tends to turn me a little bit yellow, uh, and that's often when I go into my color corrector. Although you may have noticed on some of my videos, I tend to be a little bit yellow. Uh, part of that's because I am naturally a little bit yellow, but uh, another part of it's because of these changes in effects. Again, not a professional. There's probably better ways to do this, uh, but this is what I do, and it's I've, I've got some pretty good results, I think. So my brightness, I dropped that just a little bit just to bring in some of those, uh, some of that darkness. And then I bring my contrast up. Basically, I bring my contrast up as high as I can without washing me out. And the contrast is going to, your darks will be darker and your lights are going to be lighter. Uh, see, that's too much. I'm looking, looking kind of fake there. It usually doesn't take very much. Like I said, I drop my brightness a little and bring my contrast up a little bit. Uh, color corrector. If you, I go into custom on color corrector, and then usually what I do is I'll just grab this little thing and I'll pop into these four quadrants and see if any of these four quadrants make it look a little better. This one I think looks a little bit, so then I'll kind of toy around a little bit. Uh, these are my lows. That looks, that looks pretty good. And then I do the same thing with my mids. Now, a lot of people out there are very artistic. They understand, they understand the way colors work together, uh, and they probably don't need to do the little experimentation thing I'm doing. Um, so this is good. I'm putting a little bit of blues in my mids, and then my highs. And I'm basically just trying to get... Mostly what I'm looking at is my skin. I'm trying to get a natural-looking color into my skin, which usually means reducing my, my yellows a bit. See, that looks pretty good. I like that. Has my approval. All right, so going to the chroma key. Now, those are kind of standard things. Those, those three effects are pretty much standard on any video that I do. Going into the chroma key, uh, you hit your little eyedropper thing, and uh, you pick your color. And as you can see, as soon as you pick your color, pretty much all your, your green stuff goes out. So click away from that. Now, your low threshold and your high threshold uh, kind of effects... I don't know exactly what it does, but often when you put, especially a light colored background on the green screen, 
uh, you'll start seeing a little bit of that through uh, lighter parts like my hair. You'll see, like often I use a brick background, which let me go ahead and bring that in. Um, I do like the brick background. The deep red, I think, has a nice look to it. There it is. So this is just an image, is all this is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and insert a video track, and I'm going to put it under this one. And put it the length of that part. So there you go. Boom. Now you can see the background, uh, which I'm going to zoom in just a little bit on that. Um, anytime you make a change over in this area, it changes the entire channel, okay? Now, if you just want to change one clip, you can come out here, and uh, here's your pan and your crop, which is what that little thing is right there. And then this is where you can add your effects, like we just did, uh, instead of adding it right there for the whole channel. So you actually can do these. Uh, I like doing the entire channel if you can, because then, like, if later I decide to do a little more green screen, I can drop this picture in that same one. It'll have all the same effects because I've basically done it for the entire channel. So let's do the pan crop. Uh, and I just want to make this a little bigger behind me so that people can see the, the bricks a little better. Okay. And now I'm just going to go through a little bit. And what I look for, like with this one, because I've done it quite a bit, those white lines in the bricks, if anything is going to show through, it's going to be those. And you can see uh, down on my uh, my arm over there on the right, you can see the brick lines going through that. So that's what I need. So let's go back up here to the chroma key effects. Hopefully I'm not moving too fast for you guys. Track effects. And then here I'm still on my chroma key. Uh, so here's where I'm going to start messing with my thresholds a little bit. Now, you will find that this will be your problem area if you have shadows. Uh, if you guys remember, I had a shadow right here in this area. Let's see if we can bring that shadow out. No, nope, doesn't seem to be coming out. Usually you mess with these high and low thresholds, and that's where your shadow effects. That's where you're going to start seeing shadows behind you, which can get a little bit distracting. But it looks like those effects I put in had a, had a good a good impact. So, all right, there we go. I've uh, brought my my low threshold up and my high threshold. Bring my throat, and it's just you got to experiment with it. Okay, I'm washed out a little bit there. Right about there looks pretty good. And on the blur amount, this blurs your edges, so that's weird. You don't want to go all the way up. I usually go to about 0.2 to 0.3, the 0.27. That just gives a little bit of blur around the edge, which makes you look more natural. Kind of that blur around the edge blends you with that background. So that's pretty good. Now, the other nice thing, you see check marks on all of these effects. If you're ever wondering what the effect is doing, you can just uncheck one of those effects and kind of see. So the color corrector, as you can see, does in fact, there, there it is with the color corrector, take it out, and I'm a lot more yellow. So I, I did well as far as the color corrector goes. Uh, brightness and contrast, you know, much better. Uh, saturation. I mean, if you want, you can even uncheck all of them. They're still there. That's what, and then take this out. Now we've taken out all the effects. That's what our original video looked like. So if we add those back in one at a time, you can kind of see how these effects layered in to give us that final image. Okay, so that is basically how I do my chroma keying. Um, and I think, I think the only thing else I need to do, let's get a good, I need some skin. That's a good one. Okay, so I'm going to do effects now on this channel, and I'm, I don't need a chroma key, so I'm going to do my saturation adjust and my brightness and contrast and my color corrector, because those are my standards. Uh, bring the amount up, the center down, and the spread up. And honestly, on these, you probably could just go all the way. Um, I think it adds a lot to it, I, but... In my opinion, it's a little extreme, especially when you're bringing in the brightness and contrast. You don't quite need to max them out. So, again, I bring my brightness down a little bit. Just to bring out the shadows more. And drop my contrast. That looks pretty good. On some of my earlier videos, you'll see I made the mistake of too much contrast. And you can tell. Um...
And I'm just looking at the screen trying to get an idea of the best image. A lot of yellows, which seems to be something I struggle with. Okay, yeah, red definitely not. It's not bad. Definitely don't like the green. There we go. And uh, yeah, I don't really understand uh, colors. I, I've not done a lot of art classes. If you understand the color wheel and how those things interact with each other, color the color corrector is probably going to make a lot more sense to you. Okay, I think I like that. So that I've done for the whole channel. So I'm going to skip around a little bit, just get, get some images. See, those look pretty good to me. Yeah, that's a good coloration there. Uh, pretty accurate to its true color, which really is the goal of doing this. You're trying to get as, as close to when you're doing vlogs like this, you're trying to get as close to what it actually looks like as possible. Uh, obviously, you can get into some facts that there's some things you're trying to accomplish, but in general, that's that's kind of what you're doing. Thank you guys for being here. I hope this video was helpful to you. Remember, you're awesome and incredible. There is a plan for your life. Until next time, guys, bye-bye.